Okay, the history of the Submarine Museum uh, on this location, it started about 40 years ago um, in a above a church in HMS Dolphin, it was called St Ambrose Church and it was really just a room with some memorabilia that had been placed in there and then it progressed and I think it actually came onto this site in the mid to late 70s and then it, the site then developed from there. Um, I would say that in the format that, that the museum is now um, it's probably developed from 1980 onwards to what it is today. The building behind is uh, the John Fieldhouse building and it's named after a chap called Admiral Lord John Fieldhouse and he was uh, Commander in Chief of the Royal Navy and he was uh, also a, uh, a really good submariner. And in the forces they call him uh, soldier's soldier if you want, you know, he, he looked after his men so in the Navy he was you know, a sailor's sailor if you want. And the building was uh, completed in 2005 uh, it's actually shaped like the front end of a nuclear submarine, from, so when you look at it from a distance. And inside is a corporate entertaining area, and also um, on the top floor we've got a science and interactive floor, where there are lots of hands-on uh, gadgets and things, and games for people to play with and understand what um, the purpose of a submarine is, how it works and why we've got them. What else is exhibited in the Submarine Museum? There is um, HMS Alliance, which is our uh, prized possession. This is what people come to see. You get a guided tour through there by a veteran submariner from the diesel boat age. And also on the site we've got Britain's very first submarine, which is Holland 1, designed and built uh, by a chap called John Philip Holland. Um, that's in its own environment and control building. We've got a Second World War midget submarine, which you can look right into. It's been cut in half and you can actually look inside it. And this, this particular one, X-24, did a lot of work up in Norway and sank uh, a floating dock and some merchant ships. And the museum is uh, run by um, employees. We've, we've got a director and we've got the, the guides that we have are all volunteers. They're all ex-diesel boat submariners. We've got some nuclear guys but the majority are diesel boat guys and then um, the others are um, part-time wardens which help with, you know, with the security of the galleries and also um, helping with the public, interacting with the public, making their visit an enjoyable one. And funding for the museum is uh, granting aid and also footfall, so people come through the gate, they pay, so the money is generated from there. Uh, the Submarine Museum, as of Friday, the 18th of this month, uh, we've just become part of the National Museum of the Royal Navy, and it's where all four parts of the Royal Navy, the surface fleet, the Marines, the fleet air arm and us, are now all under one one roof, if you want, you know. And I think the development for the museum, or the museums, under that, uh, under that system will be pretty good. The Submarine Museum does one-off visits, um, or one-off attractions. Uh, this summer we've done a number of um, events actually. We've recently opened a pirate gallery, which talks about um, piracy from the sailing ship days right through to why submarine or submariners were called pirates. And um, right through to the present day, the submarine service is combating piracy down in the Southern Oceans. And uh, this summer we had um, three one-day events and it was uh, mini musketeers, we had a punch and judy day and we had um, uh, a treasure chest making day. It's all to do with piracy and uh, that sort of thing. And um, we've also done a few other little bits. Uh, I think last year we did a model sub uh, radio controlled submarine day. Uh, it was a weekend and that was fantastic where uh, the Model Submariners Association turned up with all their radio controlled submarines. We built a pool and the, the public could see these diving and surfacing and they talked about the submarines. And the future really is to try and do more one day events and, and promote it so we can get the public in and have an enjoyable day.